What is the role of NAD in fertility? Well, people have looked at ovaries in, in animals. And what they've seen is that as we get older, the NAD levels in the ovaries start to fall. And they fall in a very specific place, which is right around where the egg is. Why does a 20-year-old woman have a high level of NAD around her egg, but a 45-year-old woman has only half? Well, what's the reason for that? There is oxidant stress all the time from inflammation. And as we get older, there's more inflammation. Your ovary is not separate from the rest of your body. And so when there's inflammation, little by little, you get that happening within the ovary and you get oxidants that are produced and those can actually start to cause a problem. There's an enzyme called CD38. And this enzyme has as one of its singular duties to chop NAD in half. And so if there's NAD in your ovary, which there has to be if you want to have ovulation, once this scissors comes in there and cuts it, it's going to make less NAD. And that is why we've now got absolute proof from, clinical, from, from animal studies that the CD38 in the ovary is what is causing the diminution, progressive fall of NAD within the ovary. So, so this is why I talk about fertility. Now the data in, in those studies, they've shown that there are more follicles that are getting ready. They release better. They're healthier. The quality of the genes in them is better. All of these things lined up beautifully and all of them were associated with knocking that CD38 level down or by giving a supplement to, to give NADM. So that's, that's, that's the whole issue of fertility.